Hi you guys, Simone here. So today I'll be doing a full install on this West Kiss unit. It is a 24 inch lace frontal wig that I ordered from West Kiss. So if you guys are interested to see how I got this look and all the specs on the hair, how it came packaged to me, please stay tuned guys. Alright you guys, so when you first receive your unit from West Kiss, this is how it comes in this beautiful white and pink box that says love your hair kiss your beauty west kiss it seems like we got a little gift here so let's see what's inside so i got a, a little banner here that says west kiss so cute it reminds me of when i used to do beauty pageants back in the day and they give you a little sash so that's what comes in the box also in the box is Oh my god, such a nice pretty pair of lashes that just says Mink 3D. Oh my god, do you guys see the detail on these lashes? Like, that is so cute. They're so wispy and flared. Wow, you usually don't... If you guys normally order hair, you know exactly what I'm talking about. From vendors and companies, the lashes that come look like lashes that should be on your doll like really really cheapy so wow this is something I can definitely wear on an everyday basis to work if I'm going out with my friends these lashes are it thank you West Kiss also in the box comes with a elastic band oh my god this is so helpful to make your wigs more secure to sew them down Thank you, thank you, thank you, Whiskers, for providing this because usually, you know, I get mine from like the craft store or online or Amazon and I do sew them on to both ends of my wig and make them more secure. So thank you. This is really helpful. Also in the box, we got a little nice West Kiss dust bag to put your store your hair in whenever you're not using it to protect it. Nice. And last but not least, of course, we have our unit. So let's open this up and see exactly what it comes with. We got a little card telling you exactly what it is. Your wig, your lace front wig. And then we have our unit here in the plastic bag. So let's see. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Do you guys see this? Like, wow. So I'm going to take off the hairnet. Comes with a little paper inside. And here is this beauty. Look at the body waves on this wig. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Look inside the wig. You got a nice amount of lace space. And then the bottom portion here you have where the wefts are tacked down. You have one comb here at the, the nape. And you also have two other combs inside the wigs on both sides so for a total of three combs one two and three you also have a little lace here in the back if you guys want to do a ponytail or you know at least you have that there I usually don't but it's just good to have it you have enough extra lace look at this oh my god look at how much they plucked already for you this unit it's already pre-plucked you have a good amount of baby hairs. The lace is coming off super nice and blending out my skin. Super transparent. Wow. This is beautiful. So I am going to work on this bad boy, dye it jet black, bleach my knots, and I'll come back to you guys with the install portion. Bye. Alright you guys, so I'm back. So here's the wig. I have it here on my mannequin stand. Um, I went in, I dyed it jet black. I bleached the knots on the lace so everything, you know, looks nice and seamless. Um, let's turn it around for you. I did straighten it. Look at that, how beautiful it is. Nice, long, pretty jet black hair. So I did straighten it with my flat iron off camera. Um, I also used my hot comb. So now I'm going to go ahead and install it. I know I look crazy. I have an old wig cap here so I'm sure you guys can see like all the holes in it and I just have my hair 
slick back and I already proceeded to put on the glue that I use. So I use the got to be gel. It's not really glue because I like to take off my wig every single night. So I use the yellow one for more of a hold and I just put on a little bit of um, a layer from side to side as you can see. One layer, let it get tacky while I finished like doing my makeup and everything like that and got dressed. So now it's time to apply the wig. So me personally, I see a lot of people like to cut the lace. I have two pins here just holding this. I see they like to cut the lace on their head, but I don't. I like to cut the lace. Um, I like to cut the lace beforehand. So that's what I'm going to do here with you guys on camera. I'm just going to cut it down the middle just a little bit. <clears throat> Split it down the middle. And then go ahead and do like a jagged edge. Yeah, so like I said, I cut up in the middle here. And then I'll do like a little bit of a jagged edge cutting here. Nothing too straight, nothing too precise. And just cut off all that excess lace. Then I'll proceed to put it on my head and take off anything that I feel like is too much that's left over. You see that? Do the same thing. Then I'll take, I'm going to take my mirror and have it sit here on my lap. Zoom you guys back out so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep that there and grab our wig now. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I did get a little bit of the black dye inside, but you won't be able to see all of that there. And I'm just going to put it on. So... Um, I'll probably zoom you guys back in just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And um, so I'm going to, yeah, just plop it on. So I kind of put it on halfway. So I kind of like stopped it there where the wig cap is. I don't, I'm not going to put it on the gel yet and like fix underneath, fix the back, tuck in my hair, tuck in the wig cap, hold it down. Um, make sure the comb is in place underneath in my nape. Now I'm going to pull it down on to the gel part onto my forehead. And gel that bad boy down. You know, adjust it. Turn it to the sides if you have to. Etc. Yeah, I just have it on. It's, like I said, it's not fully sticked down yet, but it's nice and tacky because like I said, I allowed the gel to sit down, the guts to be gel, white gel, um, to sit down a little bit on my forehead while I got dressed so it can get a little tacky. That's what I like to do, you guys. I don't like to use the blow dryer um, method that everybody else does because it's just too much. I can't be using the blow dryer every single day to apply my wig. So this is how I do it and it works for me. And I absolutely love it. So I'm just cutting off, like I told you guys, when I actually get it on my head. If there's any extra lace that I feel like is too much, I'll take it off then at that time. But I just took off the most of it that I can, that I could while it was on the mannequin. So now that we have that done, I'm going to part it. Zoom you guys back out just a little bit. I'm going to part it now down the middle. So I'm gonna try to go while the hot comb heats up so I can flatten out my middle part. I'm gonna go in and make some baby hair. So I just got some mousse hair on my edge brush, and I'm just gonna go in and try to make a little bit of some baby hairs. So that's how my baby hairs are looking. It's a little swoopage on the sides and one in the middle. Here's the part. Like I said, I'm still gonna flatten out. Um, still gonna flatten out the part in a minute. I just want to make sure I, you know, get my baby hairs together. So I want to tie my edges, let the baby hairs set and mold for about five minutes while I flatten out the part. Alright guys, so my baby hairs are tied down. I'm going to go in with my hot comb now on the highest heat and just flatten out my middle part just a little bit.
All right, you guys, so I'm done flattening out the top of the wig. I'm sure it looks a hundred times better. So I'm going to take off the, um, it's literally been only like two or three minutes, but baby girl, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. So I'm going to take two hair clips and pin the hair out my face really quick. I'm just going to take some powder because you could kind of see like where my lace starts because I told you I did get a little bit of the black dye on the lace but no problem also I'm going to take a little bit of my I'm going to take a little bit of my Maybelline face powder and I'm going to put it into my lace into the part and like around the perimeters of my lace really quick just to like help it blend a little bit better just to give my hair more of a natural look like my parting so it really looks like scalp and also because I didn't do the ball cap method I just have like I told you a dark brown cap most times I wear a jet black cap because I don't care I want to take my my um I want to take my wig off every single night so I don't care about that so because I didn't do all that extra stuff to make the knots seem a little bit more natural that's why I'm going in with my face powder. So I'm going to come up closer so you can see exactly what I'm doing to the lace. So if you guys are not lazy like me, go ahead and do the ball cap method so you don't have to do this, but baby girl, this works just fine for me. So to each his own, like I said, I don't like sleeping in my wigs. I want to be free at night, take off my makeup, take off my lashes, take off my wigs, be free. Okay, so this works for me. So here's one side and the other side without. And then what I also like to do is to take my big fluffy brush and like kind of just like blend that all in so it's not too much, you know. But look how nicely that's like blending in with my skin. Love it, love it, love it. So that's one side. I can release that hairpin so, you know, the hair stays nice and bone straight. So that's one side. Love it, love it. And now let's do the other side really quick, just a little bit. And oh my god, this is looking so nice, you guys. I am in love. Wow, like, hmm. For body wave hair, popping. So if you look closely, you'll see that the wig is not fully tacked down. I can't sound like a broken record anymore. So what I'll do is I'll put a hairpin here. Ooh. I'll put a hairpin here and I'll put a hairpin here just to like you know like I said everything else is pretty gelled down and nice and secure but yeah just to hold that part I'll put a hairpin and go about my day <clears throat> so I came up closer so you guys can see exactly how it's looking gorgeous oh my god West Kiss West Kiss is it now. I see what everybody else is talking about. West Kissed is it. Okay, you guys. Like, hmm. I want to zoom you back out. So I'm, I zoom you guys back out so you can see the final look of the wig. Oh my god. I am just absolutely loving it. Look how nice it looks. Wow. Like, and I barely did nothing to it. I didn't pluck this wig. It already came pre plucked. It is a nice thick density but also still very natural I'll have in the description box below exactly all the details about you know the lace the measurements all that good stuff it is a lace frontal wig 24 inches long I am tall I'm about 5'9 and it hits me like you know right on my waist right under my breast that's where it hits me 
if any of you guys are wondering like right on top of my butt 24 inches that's where it hits me it's that is just great enough a beautiful beautiful nice length um, if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a comment give me a thumbs up like the video share it with your friends family and others and I hope to see you guys back in the next one bye